Hi, welcome to The Laszlo Show with me, Laszlo. Today, we have Billy Ross, a real live skinhead. He's a singer of Derma Dogs and founder of Skinhead History Awareness. Thanks a lot for joining us, Billy. Uh, oi, oi, oi. 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 Uh, <clears throat> yep. Uh, so tell us a little bit about what your organization does besides chasing immigrants and spreading hate. I've never been a racist. I founded the Skinhead History Awareness to dispel those types of misconceptions. Um, the skinhead movement can trace its roots all the way back to Jamaican music, uh, working class fashion, youth subculture, um, the Windrush the wind generation. Okay, you've at least like vandalize a synagogue or something, right? No, no, I would never do that. Uh, skins are all about glorious honor. They condemn any acts of hate. In, in fact, anyone can be a skin, anyone uh, of any creed. But especially a certain creed, right? No, anyone, uh, as long as you're working class, you enjoy a beer, a laugh, and a say. And shave your head. No. Hair's got nothing to do with it. So you can be a skinhead without having a skin head? Groups like Agnostic Front, uh, even Slade, uh, they were skin. Uh, it's, it's about what's in your heart. It's not about what's not on your head. But then, of course, there's the most badass skinhead group of all, the Aryan Brotherhood. You ever visit your brothers in jail? No. No, I, I actually have no affiliation with that organization. Okay, but you've got to admit, they look like pretty badass and intimidating. No, skinheads have nothing to do with orange jumpsuits. I mean, it's not that type of fashion. It's all about like braces, uh, polo shirts, scally caps. Yeah, I get it. Sounds like my grandpa would fit right in. Can he join? Sure. I mean, if he's working class and has the right types of things in his heart. Okay. So what's at the heart of skinhead culture? The boots. Treat your boots with honor and they'll take care of you. So they're like your kids or something? <laughs> no, but they have helped me through a fight. With minorities? This, no. Okay, for <laughs> sakes, can we cut? I wanted somebody, you know, who was racist so I could really grill you and put you on the spot, or who used to be racist, but, you know, really touching story. Oh, I was friends with a black dude, and he helped me stop being racist and stuff. <laughs> Not somebody who just cares about grandpa fashion. You're boring. You're boring. This, this is bullshit. I'm, look, I'm out of here. Yeah, walk away, skinhead. Ooh, get your scally cap. For so how do you get this mic off? You know I can get you some more clothes from my grandpa if you want. What a they would really shut up. They would really fit in with your style. Oh, badass skinhead style. F can we get someone else, please? Oh, hey, welcome back to The Laszlo Show. Uh, our guest, Billy Ross, was just telling us about his time in, the, uh, in a racist skinhead gang. Yeah, it was tough, you know, but uh, they gave me someone to blame for my own stupidity. But then I, I was in jail working prison laundry with this black dude and he made me not racist and stuff. Oh, nice. That wasn't so hard now, was it, Billy? <laughs> Uh, kind of weird that you used to be racist, though, isn't it? Oh, what's my line again? Well, we'll just improvise, okay? Man, f*** this guy in his racist ways, am I right? No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just kidding, Billy. Um, uh, I'm really glad that you've denounced your old ways. Like, do you do anti-hate work and stuff like that now? Um, yeah... I love black people now. 